Hello, everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. Welcome to EFA 65 on this Monday, June 1st. Today, I want to talk about, I want to come to you as a previous use of force instructor. Um, you know that I talk about uh, the love that I have for the world of uh, martial arts when they're looking at kickboxing and, uh, and jujitsu and so forth. Um, I also have a background of, as you know, 27 years in government and 30 years in still going in corporation in that. But in my 27 years of government, it was a split between corrections, uh, Ministry of Training College Universities, and um, Ministry of Labor. In those years, I'm a licensed, certified trade uh, instructor, professional instructor for the government, right? Also, I was trained separately by ASP and the ASP baton. I was also trained in chemical munitions, hand-to-hand -hand combat, uh, handcuffing techniques. I was I was a trained trainer. I was an instructor. Okay, so that that's what I became. And when I look at the um, technique in the applied in the death of George Floyd. And I don't want to get into the particulars and I'm not going to get into the nitty gritties of the techniques and so forth. But when you look at the, the, the body's main computers here, right? <laughs> the body's main computer. And without getting all medical here and technical, these are your main flows, right? The, the, the flow of the brain, the blood process, etc. And those that teach use of force will talk about these, these very important parts of the body that can cause a lot of damage and or death. Right. And we'll cover that when you're teaching. And when I used to teach also, I didn't differentiate men and women. If your life is in danger, if you are using use of force and you feel that your life or the life of others may be in danger when you're dealing with a situation of a use of force situation, man or woman doesn't play in my teachings. Right. And, and if you're defending yourself, yes, you're going to use all these other, uh, <laughs> Otter should have known and blah, blah, blah. And I don't want to get into that part, but I'm talking hand-to-hand -hand combat here. I'm talking use of force. I'm talking the protection of your life or the life of somebody else. That's what I'm talking about. I don't want to talk about all that other political stuff. So when I get into those techniques and, and, and the teachings of those techniques, and when I used to teach that, I used to, the old adage, uh, carried by six or, or tried by 12. Well, the, the terminologies I would use, would you rather have your own investigation or your own funeral? Right. So when you're dealing with a use of force situation, there's times you're going to use certain techniques that'll control the situation. And if need be, could escalate the situation that includes up till death. The knee and the neck is one of those. In my principles, right, the knee and the neck is one of those techniques that you can apply pressure. Enough to control a situation, but we all know that the body, the pressure that you're applying is very minimal required, minimal required, especially the body weight applied to the knee, that whole pyramid triangle going into a, a specific position into the side of the neck that controls the brain of the body, right? That pressure is very minimal when you want to either stop somebody's blood flow to the brain, basically stop breathing, break the neck, do I need to go further, right? Or control a situation. That situation, when you have my principles, when I'm using a knee to the neck, is because, for example, Nova Scotia, the shooter, that situation that we had not too long ago. And I'm going to use that analogy. Those officers, when they were responding to that call, if they would have went to a hand-to-hand -hand use of force combat with that individual, the knee to the neck would have been justified. If somebody right now in those riots and, and the fighting going on, and they're coming at those officers in very violent, determined appearance coming at them, the knee to the neck would be justifiable to control the situation if need be to escalate. In the George Floyd situation, when you pay attention to the video, and again I'll be I'll be a democratic society, give give uh give the give it to the system. Give it to the system in those processes and the, give it to a fine eye, hopefully balanced system to look at those processes. But unless more videos come out and something different comes out in that situation, in those videos, in the, the everything that was going on, especially with all the comments of the bystanders, and they all saw the process of George Floyd that, from life to death. They saw the transition, which is in character with a knee to the neck. And when that officer was hearing those voices, that officer was either completely not there absolute disregard. Remember, I talked about ideology and some people should not be in positions. 
we have people for the last 20, 30 years that are put in positions that they should not be there. And when they're in there, they're protected to stay there. And or, right, there's a whole, all these things. And then there's those that are truly should not be in certain positions because they make the work place very very uncomfortable for a lot of professionals and that 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 try to try to try to walk a straight line with individuals like that so he probably has a background i'm just going to guesstimate right now because he either didn't care took matters into his own hand absolutely not there mentally i'm talking about post-traumatic stress disorder whichever that's all going to come out or they're going to use it one of the two right but there's there, there there's something missing there's something missing there's something that doesn't make sense you either want to apply death the situation did not warrant the need to the neck the situation did not warrant the need to the neck so why were you applying the need to the neck in such a long duration when people were telling you that the the, 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 the transformation of the mr floyd Right? They saw it in his eyes and they're telling you, take your knee off the neck. Right? Everybody's everybody's screaming. Everybody saw that video. As a use of force instructor, a previous use of force instructor, unless things have changed and since I was an instructor and, and, and if I wanted to go back to that world, if I'm going to apply a knee to the neck in a situation as a law enforcement officer in a public setting, no less. You're applying a knee to the neck with cameras on you. You're either completely oblivious of the situation. You took matters into your own hand. You don't care or you completely weren't there. Jean-Guy Bourguignon, EFA 65.